Another in our unboxing series today, we've got a 26 pound or so says the label box of joy from WD. Now, WD late last fall went GA with a number of hard drive platforms. What's inside here is 15, I hope, 24 terabyte WD Gold hard drives. Now these are designed specifically to go in our home lab HL15 chassis. When we went through and did that first review, which was one of our best of 2023 award winners, we didn't have 15 matching hard drives, so we sort of danced around the storage performance. So these guys are going in that chassis to even it out, give us 15 hard drives that are matching at 24 terabytes, which is the maximum shipping CMR drive capacity we could get our hands on today. That'll give us 360 terabytes of WD Gold goodness in the HL15, which is far more than what we would have gotten out of our Mishmash 22 terabytes, topping out at a paltry 330 terabytes. But we don't need to worry about that right now. What we want to do is get inside this box and see what we've got in here. All right, let's rip this guy open. All right. It's always a good sign when you end up with a box in a box. So this thing was packed really quite securely. I shimmied that out of the way. Kevin got it, gave it a nice uh, drop kick to move it along, and here we go. Let's get into it. Now, this is how most hard drives show up to us when we get them in large quantities. This is the shipping container that you would typically see. We asked for 15, so I'm expecting a few gaps in here, and voila. So there are one, two, three, four, five gaps, so we could fit 20 drives in this, 10 on each side. They're all foil packed, which is nice. These are all brand new 24 terabyte WD Gold hard drives. So I will get these guys out. There we go. 24 terabyte, nice and warm from sitting in the lab overnight. And it is a bit of a joke to complain much about these being two terabyte larger than the 22 terabyte golds. But density helps out, and this is the same platform really as the 22 terabyte. We've actually got a couple of those over here that we were using in a Super Micro. Both of those drives are CMR. They're both 10 platter. So really what WD has done is taken the platters from 2.2 terabytes up to 2.4 terabytes. Otherwise, the 22 to 24s are pretty much the same drive, similar feature set, similar capabilities. Although these do squeak out a little more performance. It's like eight or nine megabytes a second more, almost 300 in uh, peak sustained with these. And they do sip uh, a little less power. So from the 22 terabyte platform to the 24, WD did drop the power consumption just a little bit. Even in a batch of 15, we're unlikely to notice a big difference in either the performance or the power. But as you think about building out data centers, every little piece of every little watt and every little piece of megabyte makes a big difference. So I'm sure most of you were panicking as I unboxed those. I know Kevin was. So now we've got our 15 drives, again, 24 terabytes each. This will get us 360 terabytes raw in the HL15 chassis. And like I said, it's a nice little boost of 30 terabytes over our mixed 22 terabyte configuration. It's actually sitting over here. Let me show you real quick. I'll just pull one of these and one of these. So this is what we did have uh, installed in the system, a mix of the 22 terabyte golds and 22 terabyte reds, uh, red pros actually, which is the NAS drive. This is technically small, medium sized NAS. The gold targets a little bit higher in enterprise storage, but can still play fine in a 15 bay system like this. Right, so the best part of any new box of hard drives is tearing open that foil, smelling that sweet data smell, and letting those 24 terabytes start to breathe. All right, so we've got these 15 drives. They're ready to go, all unfoiled, and 24 terabytes of goodness ready to drop in that HL15. We're gonna go do that next, run a storage performance test on that HL15 with these WD 24 terabyte gold hard drives. And as you know and expect, Kevin's gonna make some decisions about the operating environment that'll probably trigger half of our followers. So stay tuned for that. If you wanna contribute, get in our Discord, let us know what you wanna see, and we'll see if we can make that happen for you. 
Until then, time for us to get back to work.